What's going on then, YouTube? Hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video here on our channel. It's dark and it is gloomy here in the UK at the minute, but I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic wherever you're watching in the world. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, if you like it, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you're wondering, why would I leave a like? I don't even know what you're talking about yet. Well, let me tell you, today we are going to be bringing you a 1 million coin squad builder. Spoiler, it's about 1.1 million if you change one player, it's 1 million. YouTube search terms. If we say 1.1 million, it doesn't work, you see. 1 million is what people search. You know the game. You know how it is. Uh, we're bringing you a squad that, to be honest, at this stage of the game is pretty mad what you can get with 1 million coins. It's crazy what you can buy nowadays. The market has just gone down. Not very good. It's in the mud. A bit like West Bromwich Albion. So yeah, although Carl and Grant, did you see that? Got added on the uh, on the object on the objectives level thirty by the season thing. Sorry, we get Carl and Grant West Bromwich Albion player. Let's go! Buzzing for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Who are we going in goal? This, by the way, this team that we're going to give you will suit the four four two, the four four two, uh, the four two three one, the four one two one two narrow four three three. It just won't really suit any three at the back or five at the back formations. You could make five at the back technically work with one of the DMs dropping in at centre-back. Um, but yeah. So, in goal, we have got Edison. Uh, we have to go with him here for a particular reason on the link side of things. You can change a few things, which we'll discuss with you as well. Edison is a fairly solid keeper. Keepers are keepers on FIFA 22. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. You ever seen a... Uh, oh, what's his face? Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe... Good. Who was that? Who said that? Oh, it's going to annoy me. We're back. Gattuso. That's who it was. If you haven't seen it, type in on YouTube. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe sh see it. That's what goalkeepers are like. Pardon my language on FIFA 22. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. This is kind of what happens, really. Uh, 87 diving, 82 handling, 93 kicking, 88 reflexes, 64 speed, and 88 positioning. Personally, I've been going for a glove chemistry style recently on my goalkeepers, and it's been working okay for me. Right, I'm going to put a card in here, which has been extinct for God knows how long. EA have now gone and given us his price range update. And he's quite expensive. But we need him. Because you know who's coming in at the right mid spot. It's Corona. Can I say that? Or will it, oh, it might get copyright. It might get took down on YouTube if I say that word. It's the right mid. Not the, not the, the thing that's going around in the world right now. It's the right mid. Either way, uh, we have got Wilson Manafa. Manafa? I think that's how you say his name. He's 5 foot 10, high medium, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, 90 pace, 75 defending, 75 physical, 81 dribbling, 75 passing. Overall, a, a decent card. You know, he does the job. He's got great agility, great balance, defensive awareness, a little bit low, all that sort of stuff. I definitely, definitely recommend putting a chemistry style on to increase that defending. If you want to go and increase the physical as well, that could be good. Uh, defending the physical to increase on there because he is a little bit low for a fullback. But we're not too fussed about him. We want it. We want the reason why we would need him in is to just go ahead and get the link for this man, who I actually think is pretty phenomenal. By the way, I've been using him a little bit recently uh, over on drafts. Uh, picked him up as a super sub as well. He is dirt cheap. Why do we want him? Five star skill moves, five star weak foot, high medium, five for eight. And look at those stats. If this card was in the Premier League, how much do you think it would cost? Tell me. Pop it down below in the comment section. If this card was in the Prem, how much do you think it costs? I think if it was in the Premier League, that card right now would cost about 200k, I would say. Give or take. I think it's phenomenal. Five star, five star. Five, honestly, incredible. And that's the reason why we're going to sacrifice the right back position, you know? Anyway, let's go back to the centre backs. Who have we got here? I'm going to confuse you all. I'm going to confuse you all right now. You can do it, okay? I've been testing it recently. You can play fullbacks at centre-back. <gasps> Shock, I know, I know. Everyone's going to go mad at me in the YouTube comments. I'm sorry, but it works. And if it works, you can use it. Um, I've been using Gosens at centre-back recently, and he's phenomenal. Carl Walker's the same. He's quick, he's strong, he's got defensive stats. High, high work rates, don't worry about it. We put him on stay-back while attacking. And he does the job for us. Defensive awareness at 77, a little bit low. So make sure we put a chemistry style on to increase that defending as best as we possibly can. Now, we will be playing on seven chemistry. Uh, technically, EA have nerfed fullbacks at centre-back. They haven't. It's fine. If you run two fullbacks at centre-back, you will have a problem. That's where I noticed the issue. One fullback at centre-back next to a proper centre-back, and you're absolutely fine. They will do the job for you. Carl Walker at centre-back. Let me know how you find him. 
And he's partnered in crime. I've gone with a card, which I really enjoy. You don't need to go for this if you don't want to. This is where you can save coins. Uh, you can pick up Varan instead. You can go for someone a little bit cheaper. I go with Antonio Rudiger, his rule breaker card. One of the best center backs in the game. He is incredible. Six foot three, medium high. Works really well next to Carl Walker because you've got the pace from Carl Walker. You've got the great pace from Rudiger, who gets going really quick as well. But he's more of a typical defender, a typical centre back, and he will do a phenomenal job for you. Okay. Honestly, he's better than Varane. He's better than Van Dyke. He's worth the coins. However, if you don't have the coins and you want to go a little bit less, feel free to change them out. Now, in the left back position, again, if you want to go cheaper here, you can do. I've gone with a brand new Inform Cancelo. I uh, use him in a draft, and I think he's a really good card, actually. I rate him highly. 86 pace, 82 defending, 74 physical. I've always said, anyone that asks me, oh, should I get Carl Walker or should I get Cancelo at fullback? I go Cancelo anyway. He's better on the ball. He's better going forward. Carl Walker's better in the defensive department, you know? But a really, really good fullback nonetheless. Probably one of the best in the Premier League right now because you do lack a little bit. You do have the corner if you wanted to. Um, you could get him. Uh, he is an option for you. I do like him as well. So if you want to get him, feel free. Now in the left mid position, and this is actually going to be our striker for the team. And by the way, what a card. Best player on the game for finishing the ball, bar Mbappe and Ronaldo. He's absolutely incredible. I've used him a lot on my uh, Xbox account. Uh, Hyunming Son, four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. The biggest downside to this card, the high, high work rates, and the fact that sometimes he can feel a little bit clunky with the 86 agility and 78 balance. But you will not find a more clinical finisher than Son. And why is that? He's got 88 shot power. You increase that with a chemistry style should you wish to. He finds the back of the net. It's just what he does. He's incredible at it. Play him up front. That is his best position. We don't want to put him calm. We don't want to put him on the wing. Striker is his best position. Play him there if you can get him in. And thank me later. Either foot, he scores. In the middle, off chemistry here, we've gone with Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane is going to be uh, the guy that plays out on the wing for us. You can get the inform if you've got the budget, and then he'll be fine on chemistry. He'll be in obviously the centre mid position. We've gone with the left mid here, well the left wing, change him to a left mid, and that will do fine. Five foot nine, high medium, four star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's quick, he's got decent finishing, decent composure for a winger. His attacking position is great. He's good on the ball. He's got the agility. He's just a solid card, right? One of the better options in the Premier League. So if you can get him, please do. And you will not regret it as well, just due to that sheer pace that he offers. He's downside, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Kevin De Bruyne are up next. I actually prefer this card this year. I didn't like it last year. I always feel like he doesn't live up to his to his card stats. I always feel like it's a bit fake. But this year, he's good. He's actually going to be one of our center mids in this position. So he's going to sit a little bit deeper. But the reason why we want him in, he's got great finesse shots on the edge of the box. He can threaten the opponent from deep, which is why we want him. He has the work rates to go with it as well with high, high, four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, a very well-rounded card. You probably want to go ahead and increase that pace as much as you possibly can. Could look at a hunter for something on Kevin De Bruyne, but I prefer him this year. Now I'm putting in the cheap Kante. If you want to get Kante, if you've got the money for Kante, feel free. But should you should you be on the little bit of the cheaper end of the scale, on Yenka is going to be your man. Again, we've done a player review on this card. Do not disrespect him. He is phenomenal. He has high, high work rates, six foot, three star, three star. He is our man to sit in front of the defense and defend. And do you know why this guy is so good? The agility and balance. For a center defensive mid, you cannot moan with that at 90 agility, 90 balance. You can argue he's passing with a short passing, a long passing, 82 and 76. Maybe you prefer that to be better, but it's good enough for a center defensive mid. Put him on the stay back while attacking instruction. And he will sit in front of the centre-backs and break up the counter-attacks. And he covers the ground quick. He's got the right defensive positioning. Awareness is at 88. Stand tackle 85. Slide tackle 81. All with no chemistry start applied as of yet. It's just on a basic. Phenomenal, phenomenal card. He's only one year older than me. Is that one year older than me? 1998. Mental, that is, isn't it? Mental. And then up front of the formation, we don't play him here, by the way, is going to be a man which... I rate a lot as the best center attacking mid in the Premier League right now. And that is going to be Mares. If you've got the budget to do him, go and get him in. You don't have to go for Mares here, by the way. You could go pick up Rashford or something if you wanted to. But Mares, to me, on seven chemistry at center attacking mid, works really well in the 4-2-3-1. 
if you're lining it up in the 4-4-2, he can play striker as well. But you can put him on the wing should you wish to put Mane up front with him. That is completely your choice on there. Um, so the way I'd line this up if I had a 4-2-3-1, by the way, is Son up front, Mares, Cam, and then your Mane and your Corona out on the wings. Why do I like him? I've done a play review on him again. You can watch that if you want to see more details. Five-star skill moves, four-star eat for. He's got good pace. The only downside to this card, really, is that he's not phenomenal in the shooting and the passing department in either one. You know, he's, he's averaging them both. But if you apply a Hunter chemistry style onto him, his shots are great. If you probably, you know, you might want to go Catalyst or something to increase his passing. If you want him more of a passing sort of player, you could do that as well. But his dribbling is great. 90 ball control, 90 agility, 86 balance. Reactions at 80 is a little bit of a letdown and the stamina is a letdown as well. But you can go ahead and have a super sub to come on for him. That is how the team kind of lines up. If you, as I said, you wanted to go a 4-4-2 or 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, you can do that as well. If I was going to go 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, I would actually play Mares and um, De Bruyne in the middle. I would play Mane and Son up front and then Corona in that center attacking mid-roll should you wish to. There's plenty of ways to make this team cheaper. You don't have to go Rudiger. You don't have to go Cancelo. If you don't want to do the SBC in the Mares, you can pick up another attacking player in the Premier League as well if you wanted to. Maybe maybe if you didn't want to go and trade, well, you could go for Salah instead. You could go for Rashford really on the cheaper end of the scale. But overall, that is a very solid team. And you'll notice there's some key things that we're looking for. We're trying to make sure... In the attack, no player has less than four-star skill moves or four-star weak for to give us the best possible chance to score. We've got a great box-to-box -box midfielder in Kevin De Bruyne, and we've got a proper centre-defensive mid that can do the job until you can afford Kante. And then the back line is very sound with your two centre-backs, and the full-back in the right-back position, yes, is a little bit weak, but we would need to have him in there to obviously link to that Corona as well. So overall, it's a great value for money on the team should you wish to go ahead and pick it up. Let me know what changes you would make if there is anything that you possibly may change. Thank you all very much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.